This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Hello traders, I'm Andrea Scalise with your market wrap for Thursday on the James Dix Financial Network. We had a fairly significant drop in oil prices today, the lowest level of the year as a matter of fact, and that in part with mild inflation news and corporate news helped keep the Dow in record territory again today. The Dow closed another record high at 12306, the Nasdaq at 2449 and the S&P at 1399. This just in, in the news, the consumer prices, helped by another huge decline in gasoline pump prices, fell for a second straight month in October, providing more relief to Americans battered earlier in the year by soaring energy costs. The number of Americans filing claims for unemployment benefits dipped by 2,000 last week to 308,000, the lowest level in a month, indicating that the labor market remains healthy in spite of the slowing economy. Also, Clear Channel Communications, the nation's biggest radio station, said it has agreed to be acquired for about $18.7 billion by an investment led by Thomas H. Lee Partners and Bain Capital Partners. And Reader's Digest shares rallied after it said it agreed to be taken private by an investment group led by Ripplewood Holdings. In earnings news today, shares of Dell fell following the computer maker's announcement late Wednesday that it would delay release of third quarter results on the heels of a formal federal investigation into its accounting. Barnes & Noble, the nation's largest bookseller, reported a $2.7 million loss in the third quarter as sales edged higher. And Zale posted a wider loss in the most recent quarter due to weak same-store sales growth and lower prices. Some of your scheduled economic reports due out tomorrow include housing starts for October and building permits for October. Scheduled earnings due out for Friday include Books A Million and Taylor, J.M. Smucker, and Eagle Broadband. Also, keep an eye on some of these hot-moving stocks. Dollar General, Wynn Resorts, Hot Topic, Big Lots, and New York & Company. That's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.